What is Gucci everyone? It's AJ here and today I want to go over another terminal command called grep which is one of my favorite terminal expressions that allows you to search for things within the terminal. So if you've ever been using Microsoft Word or on a web page document, uh, something you may want to do is type Control or Command F and quickly find something, quickly find an occurrence of a word. Well, Linux and Unix has been doing this for years with something called grep. And why does why is it called grep? I don't know, but let's start off like we always do at man grep. And ma grep is a file pattern searcher. And the simple way to do that is just sh let me show you how to use grep. So the simple pattern for grep is to type in grep, and then what you want to search for, search search for, and then the documents to search. So in this case, I have a dot text with all these random words that I filled it with. You can see right here, and let's search for this painful word at the all the way at the bottom, so I don't have to read the whole thing. So we're gonna do grep painful, and then we're gonna give it the a dot text, and as you can see here, it gives us the line and painful painful and also we can give it some cool options we can give it n and what n will do is it'll give us the line number so i have this whole line on line 19 pretty long line actually extremely long line and so there you go that's done right there and something i can also do is really where the most power of this comes in is i can give it the e switch now the e switch stands for universal regular expressions so if i put this within quotes let's say pain it will search for pain, but what the E switch allows me to do is use regular expressions. So let's say I I want to search for pain, but I want to search for it. I want to maybe search for something else. Maybe there's two instances of PA. So there's parish and pain. So what I could do is I could do R or I, and then I could see that it could search for both instances of that. Um, founding and also you can give it the W switch which searches for the exact word so in that case nothing came out of it so right there if I put the SH in and then I do pair rich the reason because that didn't work is because I didn't put the R I didn't put the R there or the star here and so what the star does is it's zero more occurrences so I'm saying zero more occurrences of R or I, in that case I need an R first, and then an I, and then an SH at the end, and that will match parish, and it matches the exact word. So if I have, if it was parishes, it would not work. That's what the W does. W does the exact word, and also the great switch is case insensitive. So let's say I make this a P, so let's say I make this a P, and I don't have the case insensitivity on. I mean, sorry, if I make this a lowercase P, and it won't find it. But if I put in the I switch, it doesn't care about casing, so it will find it. That's what the I switch does. So E, W, and I are pretty good things. With the E, W, with the E switch, once you do the E switch, you want to put it in quotes, because usually with your regular expression, it's going to get complicated, and you definitely want to put it in quotes. Actually, always put it in quotes. You can get away with not putting quotes, but I do it so much, I, I didn't think you could, but you can. So you can do cool things like that. You can also do the plus, which is one or more occurrences. So the star is one or more occurrences. I have a video from way back when on regular expressions, but grep allows you to easily search files and everything. Well, guys, I hope you have the best day of your lives, and I hope you have a great day. Enjoy everything, and enjoy life.